Bonjour, ami. Mon nom est Dale. Vous visualisez les factoires du Canada. Well, here I am, Canada. And, wow, it's really nice here. I've actually got a little bit of footage of the great province of New Brunswick to show you guys around. So I've been in New Brunswick for a few days now, and I've really come to like it. It's a lot like Maine, but there's a lot more French people, and it's cursed. It's a horrible measuring system of metric. Ugh. In the end, the metric system is probably better than the imperial system which Americans use, but change! The best part about being here, though, is I've been able to be with a lot of my family, which I don't get to see a lot. Almost all my mother's family is from Canada, so it's kind of fun to go back and experience my family's home roots here in Canada. Well, that said, it's also very French. Moi Francaise. Here's a little tidbit with what I've had to deal with for the past few days. Mm. <laughs> and when they tweet about the orange there. Do they understand that? English. It's language. Whether it be because... Oh! <laughs> oh! It's like the magic of what happened there. But, I love it. So now let's jump into the facts about the one and only Canada. So I'm gonna start off with a big fact about just Canada and then go down through each province and territory and give you guys some cool information about each one. Now the name Canada comes from the Native American Iroquois word Canada, which means village or settlement. So it's kind of funny that the second largest country in the world is named after one of the smallest words for a community. Canada has the longest coastline of any nation in the world, as well as having more lakes than all the countries in the world combined. They also have about 20% of all the world's fresh water, so yeah, hogging it all, I see Canada. Now Alberta is actually the first area in the entire world to set up a UFO landing site. Yeah, hopefully it wasn't with your tax dollars. And they also have the world's largest beaver dam, which is about 849 meters long. And for my American friends, that is a half a mile. That's a lot of beaver dam. Now, British Columbia is known as being the place of origin for the totem pole, as well as being Canada's very own Hollywood. A lot of movies have been filmed there, like the Twilight Saga, as well as the X-Men trilogy. And there's plenty of other movies, so it's actually a very cool place. Now Manitoba, I actually found out was a really cool place, due to the fact that they had Sir William Stevenson, who fought in World War II and was a super secret spy, and was the inspiration behind James Bond. So if they ever have a James Bond that is not British, he should be Canadian. Stevenson. William Stevenson. Doesn't have the same ring, but hey. Their website also claims to be the cheapest place in Canada to live, so you Canadians can let me know, especially you people from Manitoba, if that is true. Now, New Brunswick is known for having the majority of the Bay of Fundy on its coast, which actually has the highest tidal range in the world. Here's a video. New Brunswick is also home to McCain's, which produces one-third of all the french fries in the world. And it also has a city that is supposedly the french fry capital of the world. So Newfoundland and Labrador is actually a very interesting case, due to the fact that they were the first place ever settled by Europeans, which means that it was actually Norway, Denmark, or Sweden that found the new world first, not Spain. But, you know, but it was actually its own commonwealth area for a while, it didn't actually join Canada as a part of Canada until after World War II, so hey. It's also the home of the Labrador and the Labrador Retriever, whose breeds were actually originating in Labrador, which was actually named after a Portuguese explorer named João Labrador, who explored the area in the late 1400s. Now, I don't know what it is about Northwest Territories, I, I just don't know, but you guys, for some reason, just stick out, and I kinda like you a lot for that. And one of the best things about you is that you almost named your territory Bob, after Nunavut became its own territory in the 90s. 
they decided that they might want to change their name, and one of the more popular votes was just simply the name Bob. So could you imagine having a territory just called Bob? It would be beautiful. It's also said that they have the highest GDP per capita in Canada at about $85,000. Now, Nova Scotia, I just think, is an interesting area on its own. Not only does it have a little bit of the Bay of Fundy on it, but it also had the largest non-nuclear explosion prior to atomic weapons in the entire world. During World War I, the Dutch sent um, some ships over from Rotterdam to get some weapons from the United States. And in the process of that, they sailed through Halifax and the United States, got the weapons, went back to Halifax, and were going to actually set sail back towards Europe. But what is thought is the Germans somehow knew about this and they actually missiled the, um, the ships with all the ammunition and it completely decimated almost the whole city of Halifax. I got some pictures for you guys to look at and as you can see the explosion was ginormous and it killed well over 2,000 people but you know war. None of it is not only home to the most northern permanent settlement in the world but it's also home to Santa Claus, and you can actually write a letter to Santa Claus in any language on Earth and get a reply. At least that's what they're claiming. So if anybody's got some weird, freaky language that is a legitimate language, write a letter and see what you get. His address is available, so if you guys can find it, um, do it up. Now not only is Ontario cool due to the fact that it has Canada's largest city as well as its capital, but it has the world's most deepest underground laboratory called Snow Lab in the entire world. It has, there's no labs further down. It is about two kilometers underground. Now Prince Edward Island, I know what you're going to say, oh he's just going to talk about Anna Green Gables and the fact that our dirt's red. And yeah, I'm going to bring that up like I just did. But I'll bring up a fact that most people don't know about you guys, just because I feel that you guys kind of get screwed over due to the fact that you don't have a lot of history. Now, Prince Edward Island paid a lot of money to build railroads, and they said that they wouldn't join the Canadian Union unless Canada chose to pay the whole thing off. So, yeah, that's the only reason why they're a part of Canada, because Canada's like, alright, we'll pay it off. Now, Quebec not only has the largest population of French speakers in all the Americas, but it also produces 77% of all the maple syrup in the world. Now, they also almost became their own country, like, remarkably close. And it was 49 to about 51. And 51 voted no, that they didn't want to become their own country. Now, there was a lot of controversy behind it, but that's what happened, and now they're still part of the nation but they almost became their own country, so that is very, very cool. Or not cool, depending on how you look at it. Now, Saskatchewan contributes to 54% of all the wheat grown in Canada, which is probably why 80% of all the alcohol consumed in Canada is beer. It's also home to the only training academy for the Royal Canadian uh, Mounted Police, so that's cool too. And lastly, poor Yukon. You guys in Yukon. Ugh. What is really cool about Yukon, though, is not only did they have massive gold rushes around there, and there's probably tons of gold still there, it's also home to the oldest confirmed remains of any humans on North America at about 20,000 years ago. So, you guys have that. And I promise if they ever found anything cool, I'd make a massive fun fact video about just Yukon. Because, you know what? You got you territories up there, your nose bleeds. No one knows about you, and you're cool, so people should know more about you. And last but not least, Canada officially became its own country in 1982. Officially, completely independent, still considered a commonwealth, but completely independent then. So that's really cool. So other than that, I am really enjoying my trip in Canada. If any of you ever have the opportunity to come to this great country, do it. It is amazing and I'm having a blast. The people here are awesome. It is as friendly as rumored and stereotypically Canadians are put. But that's a good stereotype I think to have because you guys are truly an awesome nation. I'm so happy to have an opportunity to come here and I want to thank everybody who is Canadian that watches my videos. You guys are lucky people. You have a wonderful country. They're not as wonderful as America. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just kidding, but really, you guys do have a cool country, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I know this is probably one a little longer than I thought I was going to. But other than that, once again, thank you guys. Please stay in tune for more videos. I have a lot more 
cool interesting fact videos coming up as well as a video game video. Other than that, please stay in tune. This is the Factoid and thanks for watching guys. You have a good one.